Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are on to our second battle in the historical single battles on Grand Tactician Civil War. Uh, this battle, we're going to be fighting the Battle of Wilson's Creek, or Oak Hills. It is August 10th, 1861, near Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we are going into battle with Benjamin McCullough, Nicholas B. Pierce, James McIntosh, Sterling Price, and James Raines. Uh, we are going to be up against Nathaniel Lyon with Samuel Sturgis, Franz Siegel, George L. Andrews, and George W. Dietzler. All right, so we do have almost 2 to 1 advantage in uh, manpower. We've got a ton of cavalry. So this uh, hopefully it will be a little bit of a better outcome than the last battle. Um, we, well, I failed to move uh, one of my divisions soon enough, and I'm pretty sure that cost me the battle. Um, I'm not going to put it all on the game and Longstreet not being able to get across that river, which I'm still bugged by, but... As the commander of the army, I guess I should take full responsibility, or whatever. But we are on to Wilson's Creek, so let's see how we do here. Okay, James Raines sends to Thomas Sneed. I found from two of the wounded enemy, one a captain, and we were attacked by an army under General Lyon, over 5,000 strong, with eight pieces of artillery, which we held in check for seven hours. I cannot speak too highly of the gallantry of the officers and men, particularly that portion who acted as infantry. But to notice individual instances of bravery would occupy too much space. Special Order Number 190. Our scouts report the enemy is near Springfield, Missouri, and our army is prepared for battle. We are facing the Army of the West under command of Nathaniel Lyon with 4,000 men and 11 guns. The enemy army is green, and the morale is determined. They have outstanding supply, and so do we. All right, so we are once again set to defend. Uh, we've got entry points down here. I think all of our army is currently on the field. Uh, we occupy Sharp Stubble Field. Oak Hill North, and Edwards Cabin, which is right here. I'm assuming this is where our artillery or our cavalry is going to be. Uh, we do have uh, looks like four brigades of cavalry. Well, there's more. Okay, not too bad. So let's get these guys situated here. That's one thing that I'm not really used to is uh, not being able to deploy my forces as I see fit. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't like them with their backs up against this river. I also, well, there's plenty out here. I may move them up a little bit. So, see what the range what we have here. Which direction are you facing, guys? Where is the entry points for the uh, Federals? Up here. And down here.
so they could be coming at us from the north or from Old White River Road. Let's see, where is your commander? Looks like they may be operating on their own. So Sterling Price. Um, I want to get another division up here. This whole division only has 645 men. 662. 573, what are we looking at up here? Here's three cavalry division, or a three cavalry brigades up here. So I'm going to want to get let's see alright I'm going to move these guys up here as well. Okay, get them moved up. Uh, we're going to have seventh division. So apparently our commanders feel that they are going to be coming from this northern direction, so I think that's the only thing I'm going to do right now. Uh, these guys are set up to cover some of this area down here. Uh, they could come in like this, but I guess we will uh, start the clock and see where they come from. Let's speed things up a little bit. Uh, Sigil arrives. There's first contact with the enemy up here. Okay, this brigade, or these, this division here is moving in. All right, we do have 1,200 men up against this rather small force, so let's see where they're going to be coming from. Like they're going to come around through the woods. Actually, they're coming back, so. move these guys up like this. Move this brigade up here. Move you up here as well. Like they may try crossing. Okay, what do we have here? All right. Let's get them dismounted. Let's 
move them up to engage. They're going to bring their guns out, so this guy just turned a really funky color of red there. Let's see, do we have any sight on anyone else? Not yet. I'm going to move another, another division up here. Bring you up over here. Give you the order to double time it. Do you have any sight of anyone coming from the south? Not yet. All right, these guys are already starting to waver. Let's give the order to rally. <clears throat> give a general order to rally. Our guns, guns are firing. Let's get them up as well. I have to have you turn. him bring you up make sure you're set on long range you're moving so you can't get our guns up a little closer where are you going What's happening here? Have you hit him there? They're about to break. <laughs> That's not good. Get our guns firing on this infantry here. Not sure why everyone seems to be kind of moving, but... Bankhead in contact. these guys are firing on this artillery still these guys need to start moving All right so we've got another cavalry brigade coming in cancel that run off this use roads thing Still going to use the roads. Okay. If you insist. Infantry. Got to get you up. All of our cavalry just broke. May have to pull some more forces off from down here.
have you come over here. I don't want to pull too many off from down here in case they decide they actually want to attack us over here. <clears throat> See, 800, 600, 350, and 300. So we're going to send Greer. As fast as you can get up there. Starting to wonder if there's something wrong with this game here. Let's have you dismount. Hit him. Just for the simple fact that they're kind of moving in a really strange way. And these guys look like they're stuck down here. Get this commander over here. Might want to send this entire force over there, to be honest with you. I mean, there is no objective over here, so let's get you up and over. Let's get McCollum up and over as well. Bring you up. All right, so we are kind of moving into position. Infantry over here. Get our guns up on the hill. Crappy weapons. This guy's still all fucked up. All right, so we got more forces coming in. Really need to get some guns up. It's taking this, taking a long way. But we have these two cavalry units firing on him. Uh, we're going to have our artillery open up on him as well. Joseph Kelly is... Uh, I swear to God, if this is up... If he's stuck in the river, I'm going to be mad. Looks like he is. All right. Come on, rally, buddy. Let's get you up over here. Okay, we got another infantry brigade moving in with another behind him. Cavalry just broke. It's 
problem. I'm moving all my units in and kind of piecemeal here. Also be kind of helpful if they didn't get stuck in a river, but that is neither here nor there. to meet us. They're winded. You up over here. See where your order's coming from right there. Alright, there goes the cavalry. You guys are doing fairly well. Like he's actually out of the river now. Get you up here. Okay, he's moving into position. Got another cavalry. Pretty big one coming in. So that'll be helpful. Infantry moving in. Looks like he finally figured it out. Let's bring you up over here. Okay, you get your 220 men up here. south. Not seeing anything yet. I really thought they'd be coming in over here, but might have been wrong on that. Uh, McBride, I'm going to have you come up over here. See if we can bring you up. I don't really want to try and cross the river and then a stream, so we'll bring you up over here. Help is on the way, guys. Help is on the way. I'm going to move you. Have you guys sit right on the objective. Make sure we don't lose it. All right. Slow things down a little bit. Go to long range. Let's get these cavalry dismounted. Get you dismounted as well. Now he's stuck in the woods. Awesome. Right. Got to get some uh, infantry support over here. do have infantry support, just didn't see them. Be 
get you moved up. All right. So we could probably just... Uh-oh, I wish you would stop with the strange routing. Just turn everything off for now. Okay, he's moving up. Let's give the order to halt here. <sighs> They're still kind of moving up. Okay, still nothing down to the south. Move you up a little bit so you can hit this cavalry right here. I've only got 150 men. Halt. Here. Have you come over here? Have you positioned yourself in these woods right here? This cavalry unit is 40 men. I'll hold him back for now. You can put the uh, artillery right here. Hopefully they can get some line of sight. All right, might want to start pulling our uh, this artillery unit back a little bit. Fall back. Give him an order to halt. All right. What what else do we have coming up? Uh, McBride. He's got orders, but he hasn't moved yet. These guys are slowly moving into position. Oh, and uh, here comes. Here comes the other attack. See what we're up against. 65, 60, 500, 500. So about 1,100. Um, Could be problematic down on the south. I actually think it might not be a bad idea to redirect some of these guys down south. How is McBride looking as far as men go? 634 with 11 losses. We're going to give you a halt order. And then move you, move you down here. Instead, who's these these guys over here? All their routed units. Oh. 
Okay, why are they all idle? Let's get you dismounted and moved up. Maybe you turn a little bit to face them. Actually start shooting at them. Right now, they're the only ones that are firing on them. Right, looks like our guys are finally getting out of the river. We lost our guns over here. That's not really a surprise. Wish these guys would start moving. Why are they idle? All right, what are we looking at down south? They're just kind of keeping their distance. Move them up a little bit. They have Frank Wesson carbines, so 200 yard range. Now they're starting to move on us in force. So there's about 1,400 over here. Guns. Need to start firing there. So it looks like the bulk of their force shifted this way. Guys moved up. Start firing on these guns up here. Let's, let's get you moved over. Like that. Cavalry back here, there's 40 of them. Alright, so we broke that unit there. We're going to have you come up and join them. Go take care of these guns for now. Or they can do too much damage. Okay, they're moving into position to hit them. Have you come over here. Push you up a little bit.
Alright, here comes the rest of our forces. How are we doing down here? Let's turn to face them. You hit them. I don't think we're going to get any reinforcements down here in time. Oh, here comes 40. <laughs> 40 guys. Wingo's infantry. Double time. All right. I actually bring you over here, kind of present a united front on this side. Uh, we got guns, so let's bring them up here. You need to be rallied. He's moving up. He's moving up. All right. Push you up a little bit. Got artillery not doing anything because they don't have good line of sight. So let's move them up like this. Actually cancel that order. We're going to have you come right out here. That should give him good line of sight. Oh, we broke over here. So that leaves uh, Lewis Herbert with 644 men holding the line right there. Uh, we do have our reserves coming in, or not our reserves, but uh, let's give the order to halt. Let's give you, bring you up, bring you up over here. You okay? You can I can wait till you get to the other side. How's the uh, situation in the south looking? Uh oh, not very good. Rally. All right, let's rally you as well. We got a little cavalry unit down here that's probably not going to make much of a difference, but we'll send them down there anyway. Bunch of broken units. Let's see, our guns should have the range. Let's get them right up here. All right. Let's push up on these guys. I want you to actually come over here and hit these guns. Hold you there for now.
Okay. Alright, these guys are still doing a fairly good job. They're about to be joined by large contingent of troops, which should help us out. It's kind of sliding back towards uh, defeat now. Fuck. My guess would be it's because of the situation down south. What are you doing here? Panicked. and rally them, see if we can't get them to uh, respond. We got a lot of units that can do some good down here. We're going to have to send them down. It's like they're panicked, but they're kind of recovering. Got to get you moving. Even if it is only two. Do that. Double time. Now we broke another unit here. In. Right, they're firing. Let's give our army commander a uh, let's have him uh, rally. Really? That's a courier. Not sure what he can do, but... Uh, looking pretty bleak down here. 40 versus 500. They're losing the objective. It's broken. Really should have left more guys down here. These guys have yet to move. All right. He's not detached. Okay, what's happening up here? Bring you out. So you have some decent line of fire here. Long range. Okay, there's one artillery. Let's get that one taken care of there. Now we're starting to move into position pretty good. Okay, so we're going to have you come in on him. Looking at 500, 250. Have you fate turn to face him? Move our artillery out a little bit more. 
Okay, he broke. So let's move you up. Let's get you moved up. Have you turned to face them? Let's get you in into this little pocket right well. here. All right. Do we have any infantry down here that can move in? Not seeing anything. These guys definitely don't have any uh, line of sight. Dismount. That's going towards a major victory here. Alright, they're getting into position. They're going to bring fire on these two brigades pretty soon. All right, let's hit the front line units. it look like down south they did uh oh we got some uh here comes our two cavalry units that i sent down there finally showed up these guys are still holding that's pretty impressive have you hit him have you hit him as well actually Let's move you over here. Okay. Ah, it's dogs. Let's get the artillery up. I don't know if there's anyone over here to shoot at, but we're going to move them up nonetheless. Just keep hitting the army that's in the front. Why not, right? They're still moving into position. <laughs> okay, that unit broke. So let's move in on the one that's behind them. see anyone else to attack that's not already broken but we'll keep pouring fire into them for the time being let's go down south there's still combat happening down here somewhere there we go let's get them dismounted
Okay, I didn't really want to go charging in. They're in pretty good cover, so... guy coming down with 300 men. He'll get there eventually. Alright. Let's fire on them. Speed this up here. The only real combat's happening down here. Okay, they're broke. Have everyone pursue them. Where are you going? Now they are withdrawing. This just may take a little bit of time for them to get to the other edge of the map. So I, I don't think we uh, managed to kill enough to get a major victory. Or um, the victory screen, so we'll just sit on it for the time being. They're almost up to 35%. End up chasing these guys all the way across the map. 300 versus... Uh, Whatever that is. Oh, he broke. That's not good. Okay. I'll go hit them. Alright, well, I don't think there's any more combat that's going to happen, so I'm going to pause the recording here and... Uh, get back with the results. All right, enemy is retreating. We've got 19 minutes. We did find this one unit up here that's uh, it's kind of hanging out. So might be why it was holding us there. Get you to hold. No need to chase them, I guess. There we go. Uh, fought near Springfield, Missouri. Major Confederate victory. Uh, they lost 1,800 out of 5,500. 15 out of 15 guns. Uh, we lost seven, almost 1,800 out of 90, uh, 10,000. So that would be the Battle of Wilson's Creek. We are now one for one. Let's take a look and see what we have next. I did not have that set on very easy. So next would be P Ridge, uh, where we have the numerical advantage once again, 5,000 cavalry. So we will uh, get into that in the next episode. If you like this one, hit that like button. If you would like to follow along through these historic battles, hit the subscribe. Uh, I am planning another full campaign after this. So if you like this game, come along with us. Um, still kind of adjusting to having my uh, armies built up for me and arranged in a way I wouldn't arrange them. So it's an adjustment, but it's still fun. So leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. We'll see you for the next episode and the next battle. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.